this is where our house burned down. Just last year. Just last year in, uh, in August of 2020. Keep finding this um, kind of trash and half burned things. Our homes are built of toxic materials, unfortunately. From the insulation to the walls to double paned windows full of weird gases. I mean, you can just imagine every nook and cranny of a home is full of toxic materials. So those fires will burn it down into the really harsh chemicals that will eventually make their way to our waterways. There's many different species of fungi that are known to break down various harsh toxic chemicals and they've figured out that the Pleurotus species in particular is really great at breaking down petrohydrocarbons, petroleum-based products. And so that's why we're utilizing our native oyster mushroom to break down any toxins that are coming from these home sites. I just packed all that spawn I had shown you a minute ago. That is a native oyster mushroom growing on sawdust. And you can see it's holding pretty good. So hopefully it's, you know, made contact with the wood and it's, it's coming along. It acts as a filtration to hyperaccumulate heavy metals and to decompose and break down some of the petrochemicals that are coming downstream from the burned site. We know about mushrooms, we like to put them on our eggs for breakfast, you know, all that kind of stuff, but I didn't know that they have this amazing ability. Our hope is that, you know, uh, with this coming fire season and the one after that and the one after that, uh, we can continue this research and uh, develop some methodologies that are affordable, that are ecological, and uh, are doable, are easy. Um, it, so that, you know, other communities that are coming together after the fire to, to protect their um, waterways uh, can be using these same methods.